So I've said that uh, the, the, the middle Stone Age period is also called Mesolithic period or lower, uh, that or middle, or middle uh, Paleolithic. So uh, after that, we are having the other, the last phase. So the last phase is usually uh, called the Upper Paleolithic or New Stone Age period. So we are calling, or most of the time, uh, we usually refer it to as the new Stone Age period. So uh, I'm saying that um, I know you have this information because these are these are information that already you have run. But today I want us to do analysis analysis of the three uh, major phases and uh, try to see the differences or the differences uh, between those are three that is the phases uh, so we are going to start with uh, if we ask that question <clears throat> that i have just um uh, told you uh, this question is usually mostly you are told to describe describe uh life and culture of man either in the middle stone age in the new stone age period all in the old stone age period so that question most of the time is usually 12 good marks and um, these are free marks and you should make sure that when you come across such a question you should uh, be in a position to score uh, everything because these are just a small step that you need to uh, uh, these are several aspects that you have to give just a brief explanation to the examiner so that uh, uh, you can earn the two marks. So I want us to start with the first one. So the first one, in each and every uh, phase, you have to discuss about uh, tools, tools and weapons. So I'm talking about tools and weapons. So you give uh, uh, the examiner a brief information about the tools, then from there, uh, uh, if you have managed to, to write the required items, you earn yourself uh, some few marks. So we want to start with the old Stone Age period. <clears throat> so the old Stone Age period, uh, uh, it is very important to know that this is the earliest phase. So the hominid, of the, the human ancestor that uh, used to live in this uh, period, this period that we are calling the old Stone Age period, was Australopithecus. So we have Australopithecus, Homo habilis, and Homo erectus. Homo, those those uh, uh, three hominid of man that I have mentioned. So we are talking about um, Homo erectus, uh, Homo habilis, Australopithecus. Uh, these are the major uh, uh, hominid that used to live in this a period that we are calling the old stone age period so i say that first we want to discuss about the tools and the weapon and we see the differences in each and every phase so we have started with the old stone age period so uh when you're talking about the tools <coughs> when you're discussing about the tools the first thing that you should uh, do is that you have to know the name of the tools that were used in each and every phase so for example, in the old Stone Age period, uh, you have to mention that the name of the tools that were used in this phase uh, were called the Odoan tools. The Odoan tools or pebble tools. The Odoan tools or pebble tools. <coughs> so that one was the name uh, that was given. And uh, uh, it's very important to note that uh, another unique uh, detail uh, that is usually found in this uh, in this phase in the old stone age uh, that is a period is that uh, we had two different we had two uh, different names of the tools that were used so we have said that the first one was the old one tools or the pebbles to the pebbles tool the pebble tools so the the second one is also called the Acturian tools. The Acturian tools. The Acturian tools uh, are also another tool that were used there uh, in the old Stone Age period. 
So uh, we want to start with the Odoan tools or Pebos tool. So they are called Odoan tools because uh, they were located somewhere, <coughs> somewhere along Olduvai Gorge. So they were located along Olduvai Gorge, and that is why we are saying that they are called uh, Odoan tools. Okay. So these one uh, were very heavy tools. <coughs> they were not. Uh, they, they, they were not very well efficient uh, in, uh, for example, hunting, because uh, by this time, man uh, had not very well, uh, had not developed. So uh, we are saying that um, at, this, at this period, uh, he used uh, the Odoan tools. So examples of Odoan tools uh, include things such as um, freaks, so he had freaks, <coughs> choppers, uh, choppers, daggers. So those ones were some of the tools that were, were, were made. And we are saying uh, they, they were called the old ones. So uh, later, <coughs> the second phase that I have talked about still in the tools, we have said that they were called the Acturian tools. They were given that name, the Acturian tool, uh, because uh, they were found in uh, France. They were found in France, a place called Saint Actul, Saint Actul in France. So that is where they were located. And uh, it is um, said that uh, they were discovered or they were being used by, by, <coughs> by the Homo erectus. Okay. So that one is about the tools. So you have to make sure that. Uh, you bring out that difference. Actually, and tools they were a bit developed, unlike the, unlike the Odoan tools. And uh, we are saying that uh, if you ask about the example, we have talked about, <coughs> we have talked about um, the daggers, the the the, the freaks. Those are some of the example. Okay, so that is just the brief information that I'm saying. You have to you have to explain to them. Uh, to the examiner. So we move on to now to the other, to the other stage. <clears throat> the other stage, uh, it's called the, the Middle Stone Age period. Middle Stone Age period. So the name of the tools that were used in the Middle Stone Age period were called the Sagoan tools. The Sagoan tools. <coughs> the Sagoan tools. So the Saguan tools, um, the Saguan tools uh, were called that name because they were found in a place called uh, Sango. So uh, that place was called Sango Bay. Sango Bay is uh, uh, is located uh, near Lake Victoria, on the other side of uh, Tanzania. Okay, so you're talking about the Sango Bay. So that the reason as to why. Uh, they were called the Sagoan uh, tool. So it is important <coughs> to know that there was important development that took place uh, during, uh, during the making of these tools because uh, uh, they led to the development of a new technique or method that was used to improve them so that they can become more efficient. And uh, this is where they used uh, what we call the Valois method. <clears throat> so we are talking about the Revalois, the Revalois method. So that one was the method or techniques that I'm saying was used to make these tools <clears throat> more efficient. And these tools, we are simply talking about uh, the Odoan and also the uh, the Acturian tools. So uh, we are saying that uh, uh, the way this uh, method used to work is that um, the early man could hit small stone <coughs> against uh, that uh, big rock and uh, it would break into more sharper uh, or smaller, a uh, smaller stone. And this is the, 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 that technique or technology, that method. That, that was used to improve the Sagoan tools that we are calling the Revalois, the Valois method, okay? 
So uh, we are saying that uh, these tools, they were more smaller, uh, they were more lighter and more uh, sharper. So, so we are saying that they were more effective, especially in hunting. So these one uh, include things such as a spearhead. I know you know that, uh, that ca ca head. Uh, we are talking about sto stone tool. So it was a stone spearhead a tool. Talk about a chopper. So also a scrapper. So scrapper also was another tool <coughs> that was used to skin, uh, to skin the animals. Okay. So these are examples, examples of uh, Sagoan tools that were being that were being uh, used, okay? So uh, you have to mention that in the Middle Stone Age, they used the Sagoan, the, Saga, the Sagoan tools. And then you can give examples. These are the brief information that you are saying that you have to give, uh, you have to, to write to the examiner. <coughs> so from there, we look at the last phase or the last stage. The last stage I said it is called the new, the new Stone Age period or upper paleolithic period also it is also called the late the late stone <coughs> age period okay so uh, on this uh, on this on this on this area so man used uh, tools which were referred to as microlith <coughs> microlith tools microlith tools so microlith, uh, micro, you see the, the, the word itself, um, it tells you that uh, this is something very small. So microlith tools are very small, very minute, and I'm saying that um, they were very sharp and efficient, okay? So these are the tools that uh, the early man used uh, in hunting, okay? So these are the tools that he could use to kill the animal, the microlith tools. So he also made the microlith tools um, uh, in fishing. So this is where <coughs> he could use what we call uh, the, 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 the fishing harpoon. Talk about uh, needles. You see, these are examples of uh, microlith, microlith tools. So we also have uh, what we call bone fish, bone fish hooks, uh, things such as knives, and also spear. So they were very efficient, especially in hunting. So they were called the microlith. Okay. So <clears throat> that one is about that one is about tools and weapon. So I'm hoping that you have seen the the differences. You have seen the differences that uh uh, we have seen there. <clears throat> so I can see someone here has a question. This is Samuel uh, Lukenya. Samuel Lukenya, ask your question. So I want to unmute you so that uh, you can say hi. <clears throat> ask, you can say hi to the guys. Then uh, you say something. Samuel, can you hear me? So are you able to talk? Hello. Uh, a question. Uh huh. Yes, Samuel. Uh, I was asking. Uh huh. At once, let's say the examiner has has told us to differentiate. You differentiate between what and what? The, the <coughs> new Paleolithic period. Yeah. And the new Paleolithic period. Uh huh. Yes, I can hear you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Samuel Nikama Mepotea. Hmm? So I think uh, he's, uh, he had a question. <clears throat> so, but. And, uh, the, let's say the. Uh, and we... Hello. <clears throat> so I think uh, uh, we were not together with. Uh, that guy. So we have to move on. So and um, Samuel, Samuel Unapotea, and we have to move on. So let's let's see let's hear you one last time. So can you hear now? Can you talk, Samuel Lukenya? Yes, I can talk. Uh 
Huh? Ask the question and you have to be fast. I was asking, <coughs> the examiner has told us to differentiate between the new Paleolithic period and the Middle Stone Age. Mm. And you want to give the, the tools and weapon a difference. So we are going to give the, 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 the meaning, the, the names of the tools and the, how they were used, or are we just going to, 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 to just say that this one used this type of weapon, this type of tools, and the other one used this type of okay, uh, So uh, I think somewhere Lukenya has, uh, you can, has asked a question. So he, has say, he, he is asking, uh, when you ask by the examiner, maybe you differentiate <coughs> between uh, the old Stone Age period or the early, the, the, the lower Paleolithic, the upper Paleolithic, how you had, how you go about it. So uh, number one, uh, it's very difficult for the examiner to actually ask you such a question. In fact, I don't think we have such kind of a question. <coughs> but um, I, I told you that, um, in fact, we don't have such kind of a question because we are talking, we are seeing a bit three faces okay so it's it's not possible for the examiner to ask you to differentiate so we are just doing this we are doing some analysis for the purpose of you understanding better that each face uh, is very different it has different it has different uh, name of the tools okay for your own understanding okay but i say the the most important uh, the most important area is that you have to know uh, these, how to explain if we, for example, if it is tools and weapons, you know that in this area, they use this type of tools and uh, you give examples, okay? So uh, from there, I want us to move on to the other part. <clears throat> so the, the other part that I want us to discuss is about the shelter. So it's about the shelter. So, and uh, here about the shelter, <coughs> in simply, where did the early man used to live in? In the three stages, still, man had to, uh, to improve. He was gradually improving. So we want to start with the, uh, with the first one, okay? <coughs> so, and uh, before we look at the shelter, before we look at the shelter, <coughs> so, hello? Uh, hi guys, can you hear me? Someone, uh, yeah. can you see me? So you can see me. Hello. Uh, so I, I am told that you can see me at shelter. If you can see me, it's quite okay. About, about shelter, had so uh, asked me that question that uh, you give uh, you give a, a, a reason. Ama, you identify two reasons why the earliest hominid of man give reason why the earliest hominid of man lived on trees okay so you can put that question down <clears throat> give reason why the earliest hominid of man lived on tree so put that question down can be asked give reasons why the earliest hominid of man lived on tree so that that one is a, a question that i want us to 
uh, to, to check, give reasons why the earliest hominid of man actually lived on tree. So uh, we have uh, several reasons. So the first one, uh, the first one is that um, for security purpose, so I'm hoping that you're writing some, somewhere, for security purpose, for security purpose, Uh, this is because uh, animal, uh, this is because man was more secure uh, on top of trees, on top of the trees from those predators that could attack him. So in fact, what we shall, we, we will see, what we will see in the old stone age period is that man uh, could actually, during the day, <coughs> he could, uh, uh, stay in caves, okay, but during the night uh, he could uh, climb on top of trees, and that is where he could uh, uh, stay for the night. So this is simply because uh, he did not want to be attacked by predators. So uh, we are saying that uh, the first answer is for security purpose. So the second one, <clears throat> the second answer is that there was more supply of food. There was more supply of food more supply of food uh, in uh, trees, uh, on trees, <clears throat> on trees. Uh, so we are talking about more supply of food on trees, uh, such as insect, ukojuya uh, minti kurikuwa na insects, bad eggs. So we are talking about uh, those uh, eggs, eggs from birds. And also those leaves and fruits, okay? So those are the two major uh, answer that you should uh, give, okay? Are we together? <clears throat> so that is that. Um, so, and uh, because uh, we are looking at the, that issue of shelter, uh, we want to finalize with, uh, we want to finalize with uh, that issue of tools and weapon. So I have remembered that also in that area of tools and weapon, uh, you can also be asked, you give reason why a man made tools and weapon. So write that question down, give reason why a man made tools and weapons. <clears throat> so we want to see what motivated him, what motivated this guy to start making tools and those weapons. So uh, the first one is very simple, for defense uh, against other wild animals, for defense against other wild animals, for defense against other wild animals. <clears throat> so the other, the other point is that uh, for hunting and gathering, for hunting and gathering, <clears throat> for hunting and gathering, so we are saying that he could use those tools for hunting, so digging roots, okay? <clears throat> so the other point, for cultivating, for cultivating, for cultivating, for cultivating, especially uh, in the last phase, this is the new stone age. So in the last uh, stage, this is the new stone age period, uh, we're saying that man started what we call agriculture. So he could use this tool for, uh, these tools for cultivating, okay? So, um, so the, the, the last point is uh, for exchanging with other items for exchanging with other items. So he could uh, exchange these tools. He could exchange these tools with, uh, uh, with other items, with, uh, with the other other, other man, okay? So you can see that the issue of trade um, started very long, uh, very long time ago, okay? So let's look at uh, that issue of shelter. <clears throat> so shelter uh, in the old Stone Age period, shelter in the old Stone Age period. So in the old Stone Age period, there you have to say that man used to live on trees, on trees and also in cave, on trees and also in cave. So this is where uh, I said that uh, uh, he could uh, live on caves during the day 
then during the night he could uh, he could uh, climb at the top of the trees uh, for uh, security purpose okay so let's uh, look at uh, shelter in the middle stone age period <coughs> shelter in the middle stone age period shelter in the middle stone age period so uh, we are saying that a man now here started living in what we call lock shelter lock shelter so he was still living in cave but uh, uh, we are saying that also he built uh, what we call a lock shelter so you know what is a lock shelter so this is where uh, i'm saying that uh, at the entrance of that lock uh, shelter uh, he could light a fire he could light a fire to keep uh, to keep the, the the predators away and also uh, he used to uh, to cover that part that entrance with animal skin uh, that that entrance he could cover it with animal skin so it is important very important you are denying rock shelter because that one is where we are seeing that now there's some bit of uh, improvement in the new stone age the last phase <coughs> the new stone age period in the new stone age period or what we are calling upper paleolithic so here man started living a more settled lifestyle so he built permanent uh permanent houses and uh, when i'm talking about uh, uh permanent houses uh, this is where he made uh <coughs> he made houses that looked like tents okay so these houses that look like uh, that looked like tent uh, they were actually uh, they were actually made from grass so you can be asked that <coughs> what man used to what uh, you identify the uh, what man used to uh, to build those houses with so we are talking about he could build these permanent houses with grass also mud you know mud so we also had uh, tree branches tree branches <coughs> tree branches and also animal skin also animal skin also uh, we are saying that he could use animal skin to build those uh those houses also in some uh, areas especially in asia so he the, the man that used to live there uh, he could also use the mammoth bones we will see that mammoth that elephant that um I don't know uh, that uh, that elephant that used to live a very long time ago mammoth there yeah? <clears throat> so he could use uh, the bones of such an animal to build houses okay so that one is about shelter okay let's look at the other part clothing <clears throat> so these are, uh, are items that i'm saying that you should uh, always make sure that you uh, when you are uh, when you actually uh, when you're actually uh, explaining you should bring out uh, such uh, point you should ex explain those point so the other one is clothing so the issue of clothing uh, in the old stone age period in the old stone age period <coughs> man did not wear any clothes so the reason as to why man did not wear any cloth is because he had a very hairy uh, body so his body was covered with uh, in short we are saying that uh, his body was covered with hair so there was no need for <coughs> wearing any clothes okay so and uh, because i can remember when we were learning i know that most of you we had covered with you that uh, topic as uh, that subtopic you give reason as to why africa africa was called ama was referred to as the cradle of mankind this is the origin of mankind <coughs> and as you can remember uh, we say that uh, one of the reasons as to why africa was referred to as the cradle of mankind is because there there is what we call grassland savanna so grassland savanna provided a warm climate a warm climate for man <coughs> uh to live so we are saying that uh, uh the old uh, these homo homo habilis australopithecus 
So they did not require any growth because they were, most of them they were living in, in that area that we are calling grassland savanna that was warm, <coughs> okay? So uh, I said that also that one is another area that I'm sure that most of you, you are able to, uh, to explain. So that one is about the old Stone Age period. Let's look at the mid of Stone Age period. We are still discussing that topic about cloth. The Middle Stone Age period, a man started wearing some cloth. Or we are saying that at this uh, uh, phase, he learned, <coughs> he learned that I. Wait, when would you end up? Where's the teacher?
Ngoja ngoja nitamuuliza kiasi. Uh, we are back. <clears throat> so I think now we are back. I think we should continue now. So I think uh, with technology, these things, they happen, yeah? So we were discussing about, <clears throat> about that issue of clothing. We were discussing about that issue of clothing and we have said that in the Middle Stone Age period, man uh, learned that art, that, uh, uh, that idea of making cloth where he used to make animal clothes uh, such as um, uh, we have talked we have given examples such as waste uh, we are talking about uh, that issue of waste uh, cloth and also the issue of uh, necklace so uh, waste belt i'm sure you know or all, all of you you know what is a waste <coughs> a waste belt okay so um and also necklace okay so also in the middle stone age period uh man used to paint himself with red oak and oil so that one also was another form of clothing another form of clothing that was used to happen in the middle stone age period i've seen that man used to paint himself with red uh red oak and uh, oil so uh lead oak and oil so you know uh, that that lead thing that uh sometimes the maasai used to uh usually um so uh, that, that one we are saying that uh, 
this one is a, a form of uh, clothing and also uh, uh, that idea of mpaka kujipaka oil is an idea of uh, clothing according to uh, uh, to back then okay so <clears throat> finally um, finally in the mid in the new stone age period uh, in the new stone age period so this is where now man started wearing uh, animal skin and also he started making cloth use using uh, using fiber so uh, we're talking about fiber and also uh, bark bark uh, of the trees so we are talking about bark of the trees so uh bark of the trees you know those um this, we have some trees uh which you remove when you remove the that that uh, bark that we are talking about or the the skin of the tree that is what we are calling that uh, some man, some uh, early man used to uh, to wear that back of the tree as a cloth okay so also still in the new stone age period uh, he decorated uh, a man used to decorate himself using uh, the red oak the red oak that we talked about and also beads so also that one is another form of shelter that was actually <coughs> happening so that one is about shelter so from there we move on to the idea of uh, food so food also the the issue about food is another important aspect that man are uh, still in the middle uh, 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 man had that idea of food that in the old stone age period in the old stone age period uh, we saw that man uh, during hunting during hunting and uh, gathering the uh, the amount uh, the, the 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 food which he managed uh, he could eat uh, what we call low meat and uncooked uncooked uh, uncooked uh, uh, what we are calling uh, fruits and also vegetables <clears throat> so that is uh, the kind of food that man used to eat during the uh, during the the old stone age period so we are talking about low meat and also uncooked and also uncooked uh uncooked fruits and also vegetables okay so um so uh it is uh during this uh, period that uh, we saw there was what we call division of labor <clears throat> because at this juncture we you could uh, see that uh, women so women could uh, go out in the field to 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 gather those fruits and also men <coughs> men also uh, we know that uh, uh, they could uh, do what you are calling hunting and uh, as you can uh, recall so uh, we had learned about some of the methods some of the method that are man used <coughs> in hunting so and i want us to go through that question so uh, we are still talking about uh, food but it's important to go through such question that uh, you are supposed to identify methods <clears throat> identify methods that are a man used in hunting so that one is another thing that i'm saying you can you can actually <clears throat> be asked um so we want to see <clears throat> what are some of these methods that early man used uh for example uh in hunting so we want to start with the first one so i think uh, these things <clears throat> we had discussed about them so number one is that he could chase the animal he could chase the animal into swampy or into a swamp he could chase the animal into a swamp <clears throat> into a swamp and the animal would get stuck after the animal ha has uh, has been stuck then uh, we are saying that uh, the man could kill that animal so that is the first method that man used to hunt chasing the animal into swampy areas when the animal is stuck uh, so we are saying that uh, now 
he could uh, catch that animal. So the other one is still, he could chase the animal over a cliff. He could chase the animal over a cliff. So, <clears throat> and uh, over a cliff so that uh, it can fall down. So uh, when chasing, when you chase an animal over a cliff, so definitely it's going, uh, for example, if uh, it was a buffalo, it will uh, fall down. Then uh, the, 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 the animal, the man, together with uh, his uh, small group of uh, people, they could catch that animal. So the other one is they could use traps. <coughs> they could also use traps, use traps. Okay, so that is the other one. So he could learn after the animal. So that is the other method. He could learn after the animal. So uh, we are saying that uh, some some old guys, some some of those are men. Uh, some of those men. So you're saying uh, the uh, some of them could learn after sm small animals such as rabbit, <coughs> and they could catch them. So the other one is that they could uh, dig holes. So these are pit. <coughs> they could uh, dig. Uh, that is a pit uh, holes. So these are large pits uh, hole on the path where the animal uh, was known to uh, to go through. And after <coughs> digging those uh, pits, the animal would fall uh, in that uh, hole, large hole, and uh, they would uh, they would kill it. Okay. So uh, we are saying that uh, these are just some of the several methods that um, man actually used <coughs> in uh, in hunting. Okay. So um, so we have said that uh, we were still discussing about food. So after now, after he has used all those methods uh, for hunting that we have discussed, so we are saying that uh, in the old Stone Age period, uh, man could only eat raw meat. Okay. Uh, the fruits were not cooked, okay? So uh, uh, the vegetables were not cooked. So the, 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 you have to underline the word low, okay? So uh, in the Middle Stone Age period, <coughs> we all know that uh, uh, we say that the Middle Stone Age period, the Middle uh, Stone Age period, we agreed that uh, Middle Stone Age period was associated mostly with the Homo erectus, and also Homo sapien. So Middle Stone Age period, this is where man started uh, what we are calling, uh, uh, he invented uh, fire, okay? So this is where man invented fire. And uh, here we say that man cooked food. <clears throat> so man here cooked food. Uh, so the, the, uh, after cooking uh, food, uh, we are saying that uh, uh, it is very important to know that here in the Middle Stone Age period, where I'm, I'm saying that man invented fire, he ate cooked food. And I think um, you know, you know the, 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 the importance, the importance of discovery of fire. Now we are saying that uh, he could no longer eat the, the, the raw uh, vegetables because we saw that one of the importances one of the importances of eating uh, that is cooked food is that uh, uh, he was able to to soften. So we're talking about to soften, to remove poison, uh, for example, uh, from food. Uh, also, we are talking about to add uh, uh, flavor. All these are all, all these are benefit associated with cooking of food. Okay. So we are saying that uh, these are some of the things that. Uh, <coughs> Well, back at home, you should uh, uh, go through. So in the now, the last phase, this is the new Stone Age period. The new Stone Age period. So the new Stone Age period, uh, we are saying that uh, man here <coughs> started uh, also ate cooked food. He ate cooked food. So this is the food uh, uh, I'm saying that uh, 
uh, he, uh, uh, we saw earlier that already he had started what we call, we are calling domestication, domestication of animals and also plants. So here he ate uh, a balanced diet because he could, uh, uh, he could uh, find vegetables, fruits, he could uh, cultivate all these fruits and also the animals were there. So at this level, man ate a balanced diet, which we are saying it was cooked, okay? It was soft, it had flavor, uh, it did not have poison. So all these things we are saying <coughs> are some of the uh, benefit of, of uh, having that issue of fire, okay? So, and um, because now we are, uh, almost uh, coming to an end <coughs> to our lesson, we want to see, because this is a question that you can be asked, some of the reasons as to why uh, man actually started domestication of animals. So you want to go through that uh, question. You give reasons as to why <coughs> any man started domestication, domestication of, of animals and also plants. So uh, what we are doing here is that uh, we are doing topical revision. So we go through all the areas that uh, can be tested in this topic, okay? So we want to start with some of the reason that made man <coughs> to actually start that issue of domestication, domestication of, uh, of, of animals and also plant. So number one uh, is because of competition. So these are free marks, free marks, competition. So we're talking about competition of food between him and wild animals. So that competition led to what we call shortage of food. So therefore man had to think, so he had to think and uh, come up with uh, that idea of agriculture or domestication. So that is a uh, <coughs> competition. <coughs> so the other one is that uh, there was natural calamities. There was natural calamities uh, such as flooding, bushfire, <coughs> So all these <coughs> natural calamities, uh, we are saying, they destroyed, they destroyed the vegetation and therefore man had to think uh, of an alternative. And that alternative is domestication. <coughs> so uh, those are, that point is about natural calamities. So also we are saying that hunting and gathering as a method, as a method, it was tiresome. <coughs> it was tiresome. <coughs> and unreliable. It was tiresome and unreliable. So I can see there's someone here with a question. Who is this? Munene. Munene, um, I can see you. Not... I wanted to ask that, I wanted to add a point that due to increase in population, the natural yeah. environment could not provide adequate food. So very good. Also, that one is another point. Munene, thank you. That due to uh, that issue of uh, high population, uh, the demand for food was very high, and therefore man also had to had to uh, look for alternative to find food. Uh -huh. So I can see this is Hakim. Hakim Sema. So you have you have an answer or a question? Hello, Hakim. Yes. Hakim. Yes. Can you you have an answer? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. So I wanted to say that hunting and gathering had also become insecure because sometimes Why? man would not find food. So yeah, sometimes. So you will not find food while so hunting. Something, why, do, why do you think he would not find food while hunting? <laughs> Just due to migration of animals. Due to migration of animals. So very good. Eh? <laughs> so that is good. Eh? 
So, uh, so you can see Moses here has something to say. Moses. <clears throat> Moses, talk to us. Moses, you are on. Talk to us. Moses, you have nothing to say. <clears throat> and you had, uh, I can see is up. Moses, can you hear us? Okay, fine, fine. So uh, we want to <clears throat> we want to move on because uh, we, I think we are still discussing about uh, that uh, important aspect of uh, some of the reasons as to why uh, man started the issue of domestication. So also after that, uh, someone has. Uh, uh we have been given those two other answers so also there was the issue of over hunting there was over hunting <clears throat> there was over hunting that highly reduced there was over hunting that highly reduced animals okay so uh, uh so we are saying that issue of over hunting led still to uh, the issue of um man fighting on an uh, on alternative to fight food also there was climatic changes now apart from natural calamities also there was the issue of natural uh, i mean uh, climatic changes so climatic changes that led to things such as um uh, desertification so we are talking about such issue uh, such as drought so which uh, made man uh now to uh to find uh, an alternative because the food that uh, he thought was there had already dried up okay so uh we are still moving on <clears throat> so that one is about uh that one is about uh the issue of food so we want to continue so uh the other the other the other aspect that i wanted us to discuss is about communication so also communication was another aspect that actually <coughs> was another aspect that actually changed because uh, we saw that um, in the old stone age period the type of communication that man used uh, is that he used uh, what we are calling gestures and signs so uh, that is gestures and signs <coughs> so in the middle stone age period in the middle stone age period uh this is where now he had a, a, a developed a kind of language where he could use uh creek creek sound he could use creek sound and also what we are calling gesture and finally in the mid in the new stone age period <clears throat> in the new stone age period so we are saying that man actually uh, used a well-developed language so this is a well-developed speech he actually used a, a certain uh, the speech that we usually use today uh, in actually <coughs> in actually uh, learning are we together so that one was about <coughs> uh, about the, the the several the several point that you should make sure that you discuss in every in every stage and you can clearly see <clears throat> that there's a bit of difference in each and every in each and every one of them okay so we are saying that uh, each point here should be in a position to give you <clears throat> at least at least two marks so we are talking about already we have discussed communication <clears throat> food shelter clothing and uh, tools and tools and weapon those are how many points <clears throat> they are five eh? those are five uh, points already you have 10 marks and i'm saying that this question mostly you will uh, find it it has uh, <clears throat> it has uh, 12 points so i can see that uh, we have some guys who are raising up their heart who is this <clears throat> Onyango, Onyango, talk to us. Onyango, Onyango, 
<coughs> Excuse me, Cha. Yes. Talk to us. I, will, I wanted to ask this uh -huh. question that usually comes in tests. It says, uh -huh. explain how evolution of man into an upright posture assisted uh -huh. in, in, the, in the life of man. Can you ask that question again? <coughs> explain explain how, uh -huh. how the upright posture uh -huh. <coughs> assisted in the modernification of the life of man. So very good. Uh, so that one uh, is a question that uh, <coughs> our friend here is asking. So uh, Onyango, you are asking about uh, how up the issue, of, the whole issue of upright uh, posture, <coughs> actually assisted, uh, actually assisted in. Hello actually assisted in a uh, uh, man becoming some someone uh, who was, excuse me, what is happening here? <clears throat> okay. Okay. In Mehan, what you Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. on.
Wekuenda. Wekuenda. Kuenda. Kuenda. Wakunza history hapa na sisi wote tuliumbwa. 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 What is evolving? Evolve, evolving. Kitu gani? Kitu gani? Kitu gani? We nini kinaendelea huku hivi? Tsa kwa wapi? Kwa wakati. Ah. Watu wapi sasa? Eh? Kwa mlaki. Time is up. Shouldn't this need? Wait, tsa kwa wapi? Wewe